What is up guys, my name of course is Carlo and welcome yet to another video. Um, so before I get with the exciting updates and uh, what's been going on this week, I've got bronchitis at the moment. I am dying um, at the moment. Um, as you can probably hear by my voice. I was going to uh, put this video off until next week, but I didn't want to. just wanted to get this video out there for you guys. Um, to see what's been going on and I've had some major updates to the uh, setup and it's it's been a bit weird but I've ended up with what I wanted um, if I make sense if that makes sense because I wanted to try and get what I wanted without having to spend any money so as you guys know um, I ran a HPZ 840 workstation um, this workstation had 64 gigabytes of RAM had a GTX 980, um, all that good stuff in it. Very, very powerful machine. I was running Hackintosh on it and I was running uh, Windows uh, 10 on it as well. Um, but I've been planning for a little while to get a um, Quadro K6000 um, 24 gigabyte graphics card, as you as you know. Um, but funds have been a bit tight and I, I was trying to, I was sitting there the, a couple of days, well, last week, shall I say, uh, before my last video trying to debate on what to do and how I'm going to sort of achieve this. So I came up with a great plan and it works. So as you can probably see in the background here, I've got a Z, uh, HP Z820, which was a machine I had last year and it's probably the most, the best machine I've ever owned and still is. And what I was able to do was sell my Z840 for a really large chunk of money. I got quite a bit of money of it because it was, it is a spectacular machine. It's a very good machine. And I only had to put a little bit of money um, on top. And with that, I was able to get my Z820 with a Quadro K6000, 24 gigabyte graphics card. And um, 190, I think it was 198 gigabytes of uh, RAM. So, um, and I only spent a little bit of money on top. Hardly, hardly anything, which what I was thrilled about. I was over the moon about, I mean... The Z840 is an amazing machine. It's an amazing production machine. It's the best out there on the market. Um, there's not really, having both the 820 and the 840, I don't really see a lot of difference in performance, to be perfectly honest. Um, I think with the 840, obviously, it's got more, got, got a lot more cores and slightly newer CPUs. But this one, I think it's about 36 cores, this system. It's an absolute beast of a machine. Um, 196 gigabytes of RAM. It's got the Quadro K6000 24 gig graphics card in it. It's got three two terabyte hard drives set up in RAID zero, and it's got one uh, uh, nine. Uh, sorry, one 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 terabyte now uh, SSD with uh, Mac Hackintosh, as you can probably see here, and Windows 10 uh, as well. And I'm blown away with the speed. I, I mean, I knew what I was getting. Uh, to be perfectly honest because I had one of these last year uh, before the 840 and I absolutely loved it. I got rid of it, probably seen a, uh, a, a video I did last year to get the 840. But I was never really, I mean, I like the 840, it's fast as hell, but I was n never really, I always miss this one. I don't know why, I always miss this machine. So this machine's back, as you can see behind me, I'm really happy with it. I mean, this thing in OS X is, um, yeah, it's, it's a beast. Now, I'm still trying to work out the kinks with the um, N, uh, NVIDIA web drivers um, at the moment because I'm only running uh, Mac OS X in generic, uh, which is a bit of a pain, but the card's so fast, um, yeah, the machine's like lightning, but I don't want to have to lose performance of the card. In Windows 10, um, it's absolutely mental, it's a beast. Um, so I'm not really bothered that I'm losing a little bit of performance in OS X because OS X I use obviously the same sort of stuff but it's more sort of Final Cut Pro, uh, it's a Logic Pro X and um, through, uh, FL Studio stuff like that. Um, so the heavy duty lifting will be done in Windows and heavy duty yes in OS X but not as heavy. Um, things like rendering in Maya stuff like that I'll do in um, Windows. So that's sorted. I'm very happy about that. I'm over the moon with it. I've ordered a couple more bits um, to go with this. Um, I've ordered an editing keyboard, which I've wanted for a long time, um, but I always found it was a bit expensive for a keyboard. Um, but I've got an editing keyboard coming, uh, which is great. 
Um, I will show that to you. It's a, it's a Mac one as well. I'll show that to you when that turns up. Um, hopefully, um, I've, I've got to start releasing videos around the Black Magic and the filming of that next week because um, I'll just start filming it. I won't lie to you, but I've had this cold for over a week now, about four or five days, and it's kicking my ass. It really is. I've been sort of lying, sleeping most of the time, trying to sleep it off. But as you guys know, when you've got a cold, you can't even sleep. It affects you mostly at night, doesn't it? You sort of feel okay, you feel crap during the day, but as soon as you put your head on that pillow, that cold just wants to kick your ass and you can't breathe at night. Um, so yeah, I've been you know, trying to find it hard to breathe, been a bit sicky-wicky and just feeling um, like crap really, not in the mood to sort of do any of this uh, stuff and do me editing and, and do me YouTube. But hopefully, I'm coming, hopefully I'm going to be coming to the end of this cold, it must be, I've, I mean I've had this just for about five days, like full blown, I broke eyes, can't breathe or nothing, I'm on antibiotics, uh, so on and so on, and I'm on painkillers and some aspirin, but yeah, it's a bit of a pain in the ass, and it really is kicking my ass, I want to get these videos out there to you guys, and I will um, bring content to the channel regularly, like I always do. But obviously I want to get the series underway when my kit, you know, for the black PMCC, when, when my cold clears up. Um, hopefully that'll be soon. Because I really, really, really want to get it sorted. So that is my update. Uh, monitors ain't changed. I'm still trying to decide what monitors I want to go for. I've decided to go for two 27-inch monitors um, over the 4K ones. I was going to get two 4K TVs. Too big. Too much bullshit. My missus is like, fucking hell, you, you stupid. So I'm going to get two 27-inch uh, displays. If you know of any good, nice displays, um, drop a message in the description below. I would appreciate that. Give me some pointers on that. I was going to go for Asus, but then I may have to go for the um, HP Dreamcolor uh, monitors for HP workstations. Uh, for this sort of stuff, for video editing and stuff like that, it's meant to be good. I think Ryan Connolly's got a couple... Um, in film right and he, he he picks them up he rates them big time so hopefully i may go for them if not them i may go for a couple of 27 inch asus ones uh 4k so that's it that's my update and hope you all guys are well um i'm working on mac high sierra still like i said i feel like crap so i've not been in the mood to sort of get things done yet Apple event was on yesterday, and I just think that was the biggest joke I've ever seen in my life. Um, yeah, iPhone X, you know, and the first thing they big up is how you can make a shit smile on talk, you know. A shit, emoji shit. Yeah, oh, please, man, no Mac Pro updates, nothing, you know. Which makes me smile that I've got this, because this has made the shit out of a MacBook Pro, or any Mac on the market, uh, to be perfectly honest. Um, so, that's basically it. Sorry if I'm a bit rambly, because, like, you know, I feel like shit. Um, but hopefully, next time you see me, I'll be a hell of a lot better. So, as always, guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, uh, hit the subscribe button down below. If you have enjoyed this quick update, a like rating would definitely be appreciated. And, as always, I'll definitely catch you in the next video. Ciao, ciao, guys.